X Define could even get better. Like and subscribe. You guys appreciate all the love on the channel recently. But it seems like X Defiant is upcoming next month at the very latest. Now, things I absolutely so. could change, but fingers crossed that's not the case. In the meantime, though, while we're perhaps right on the precipice of seeing what the full game has to offer, I want to take a bit of time to discuss how the game could get even better for both at launch and as the game continues to build after launch, because we oh. know this is going to be a progressive thing. We're going to- Any of you believe that this game is going to outrank Call of Duty or outsell Call of Duty? Do you think that's even a possibility? I guess it's a free to play it's gonna be a free to play game so i'm not sure if it's gonna be or not one if you think it will be two if not see stuff added in after the game is launched so drop your thoughts down below on what you'd like to see included with the game as we go along drop a like if you enjoy and subscribe for more x yeah, like coverage and, and content yes. and make sure to check out my friends over at g fuel but more on that later now do not check out his friends over at g fuel g fuel is bad for health so don't do that but other than that like and subscribe yes there. for now let's jump into it so i'm sure right. that i'm gonna forget something and the moment this gets published i'll be like ah, i can't believe i forgot that but here we go firstly one thing that i would like to see is in regards to ranking one thing that we've seen now is that x defiant is going to be of course multi-year it's not going to be something that you get a new x defiant x defiant 2 if you will next year at this yeah. time or something like that we're going to see the game continue this is going to be like one and only game the homie instant coming in with 10 papers says that as a brown dude i demand ethereal and original gaming experiences like we had back in the day i agree absolutely you appreciate the 10 my brother it's already been proposed that we'll see go, go, annual go, go. prestiges. That's something that they're looking to build out where maybe you end up getting the ability to either have new prestiges entirely replace the ones you grinded through, let's just say 10 for theory's sake, where you have 10 new ones, you start at level one again each year over year, or if it's something that like instead of a max cap of 10, year two introduces a max cap of 20. Every Honestly, just keep it simple. Make sure it, it, it's good, fun, good gameplay, and they update it frequently. No skill mismatching and keep that promise, like you guys said. A and just update the game regularly and be happy. Be happy. Here we are. Yo, what is up, my brother? Instant. Thank you for the 10, brother. G Fuel is not bad. I mean, it's not good for you either, though. So. As a brown dude, I demand ethereal and original gaming experiences like we had back in the day. I agree. I absolutely agree. To me, I gotta ask, what harm is there for a multi-year game saying, hey, I've been here from the beginning, and this is where I'm at if you add up everything, mm -hmm. while also still having that theoretical cap or whatever in regards to how a traditional prestige system would work. Personally, I think that's something that does no harm in which you're like, okay, hey, I'm max prestige on the year, I'm max level, but I've also done another year, another two years or something like that. Worth I, I think if they do prestige for X Defined, your Activision is gonna sue their ass bro like let's be real we saw what happened with like other other projects uh fans projects like uh, there was that project i'm forgetting the name the, the the one that was gonna supposed to have all the call of duty games all together you guys remember what i'm talking about right like uh, yeah i don't think it's yeah they're probably activision is gonna sue these suckers to oblivion if they decide to it's x defined uh the north uh, star uh, i would also love x defined 2 and call of duty both of them to have prestige system I think X Define can do it, but they're likely not gonna call it prestige. They're likely gonna call something else so they don't get copyright. Of my grind in regards to this. And if they wanna go a step further, I think an uncapped level system would be pretty sick for a career rank as well. So that you could show that, yeah, I've played to that 10th prestige, that 20th yeah, prestige, that 30th yeah, 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 prestige yeah, yeah, yeah. year over year, but I've also done so much more. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be really cool, and that's one thing that I do hope to see added in. Next, I'd love to see a prestige shop. I'd love Bruh. to see something that rewards- You literally want a Call of Duty clone, man! Bruh. But, but on, on, a, on a real note though, don't we all want a Call of Duty clone? Let's be real, man. The Call of Duty refugees, they need a good game. They need a solid game uh, to migrate to. They need a new home right now. Uh, one in the comments if you want X Defined to be simply like COD, but better. Two if not. I would go with one personally. Uh, yeah, as much as I would like to meme on this, uh, I would meme on myself as well. But that's uh, that's the truth. The reason X Define is being talked about the way it is, it's like Sega's want this game to be like Call of Duty, like Call of Duty clone, but with new maps, new guns, no skill based match, freaking fun gameplay, fun maps, and a lot more replay value with new content added frequently instead of those like $20, $30 BBC bundles like every week, right? That's essentially what it comes down to. Call of Duty 2024 is going to be good. I hope so. Like, uh, I know it's Treyarch. It's going to be four years by the time they come out. I want that Call of Duty 2024 to be good as well. I wanted to try the Angry Joe flavor, though. 
Okay, I, I I mean do it, but it's like I would not recommend it honestly. But it's your money, it's you. Yeah, you do it, you do you. Uh, but G Fool, not good for health, man. Drink water, drink water. Proven, scientifically proven to be the best thing ever on planet Earth. Okay. Sports players with meaningful cosmetics, camos, skins, charms, any calling cards if they add those in, stuff like that. That once you hit a certain prestige, it unlocks a number of things you can unlock with. I don't know, prestige tokens or something like that, but something that gives that sort of milestone and worthwhile reason to go on to that next prestige or to keep Rare. chasing that higher number. I think that that would be awesome. And as a result, I think just even prestige rewards would be pretty cool as well. If you do have that career rank, you could have a super rare skin at level 500, 600, 700, yeah. after you hit <laughs> max level or something like that. That'd yeah. be pretty cool, I think. We want Call of Duty basically from other devs. That's what is coming down to. Call of Duty 2024 is the last chance for me. We say the same thing every year, but I know where you're coming from, and I would say that the same for myself, but let's be real. If Call of Duty 2024 turns out to be bad, we're gonna be like, ne next year is gonna be better. You know, we're gonna give him one last chance. One last chance. Hopefully, this is the year, guys. So hopefully, it's good, man. Because in 2025, I don't think anybody care. Everybody would anybody would care because it's gonna be the year of GTA 6 unless they delay it to 2026. Hopefully not as well but when it comes down to it the larger thing at hand is i just hope there's grind worthy content as well we know that we're going to have mastery camos but i think it'd be sick to have other additional mastery items yep, like for yep, yep. weapon leveling individual classification maybe all weapons either in the way of like a mastery camo for getting every gun gold or something like that maybe max ranking every single gun which from the beta there looks to be hundreds of levels so that would be a true grind if nothing changes there faction uh -huh. mastery would be pretty cool as well x amount of kills with a certain faction x amount of whatever for mastery uniforms or something like that Damn. i think there's a lot of different ways you could take it but things that would allow you to have that ability to grind out and continue to keep playing yeah. but on a more sort of more so the homie maestro says that ubisoft has to be careful how they make x define hopefully it's not a copy paste call of duty microsoft will be on their ass i could see why they're delaying for safety reasons they don't get sued this is exactly what we were talking about just like moments ago that proceed system i don't think they're gonna call it proceed system because like they're gonna get sued yeah dead ass i agree with you maestro because like if they do that it's joe over for them and i don't think ubisoft is that dumb i mean they're dumb enough to call skull and bones like a quadruple a game you know that Bruh. that recently happened how many of you guys actually picked up a quadruple a game any of you playing a quadruple a game right now let me know in the comments <laughs> uh yes will we have a fiscal call soon uh in may in May for Microsoft, EA, and Rockstar. I know you probably mean Take Two or you're anticipating Take Two. Yeah, in May, in the first week of May or second week, but usually first week of May. Very rarely last week of April, but we're far away from that. You appreciate all of you guys for coming on this vertical stream and liking. Uh, if you guys haven't already, like and subscribe. Like and Micro subscribe. level here, not necessarily macro. I think you need to also have grind worthy content within each season. We know we're going to have a couple of seasons each year with X Defiant in year one, year two, year three coverage and support. But I think that seasonal challenges with sets of rewards would be pretty cool to have as well. I, yeah, dog, you are literally everything the homie espresso he's saying is call of duty he won prestige he won uh calling cards like call of duty he won seasonal ranks like call come on man like come on what are we talking about bro just say you want the entire call of duty next to find which is true like even i want that a lot of people want that this is why people are waiting for this second people want uh let's just say the og call of duty feel in this game that is no skill based mastering and good gameplay and more content in the future just say call of duty bro for the first time in a long time I think call of duty finally nailed this with modern warfare 3. now the seasonal reward system is not new fortnite really popularized it back in the day but modern warfare 3 most recently with those camos that you get for completing five of the weekly challenges but all eight week sets of those i think that's insanely well done in regards to a uh -huh, challenge system uh -huh, it uh -huh. affords somebody that wants to keep grinding the game out day over day something that they can do and a new unique set of challenges with a weekly reward associated with that but it's also not impossible for somebody that's hey. like oh it's week seven of eight i need to do all these challenges yep, it still yep, only yep, takes yep, a yep. little bit of game time and a little bit of concentration to do that kind of stuff for an overall pretty cool reward at the end of that i think so i think if you add something like that it'd be pretty cool <laughs> also, seasonal events, again, I think Modern Warfare 3 is finally nailing this and keeping players coming back week over week in season. I'm not expecting- Stop the cap!
Anything X Defiant, and honestly, I'm not even expecting Call of Duty. I'm very surprised that Modern Warfare 3 has been able to keep up with this weekly. Yay. I wouldn't expect X Defiant to do this every single week, but with a game that has seasonal content, it's something that becomes very cyclical. You have these drops at the beginning and the middle, likely, for content and the worthwhile additions, but in those sort of off weeks, which are like a month at a time at that point, uh -huh. oftentimes there's really no reason to continue playing and to grind out the game. Yeah. This one's hit or miss, but I feel like if you want to grab players... I mean, in back in the days, we never really ran into issues like that. We had a solid game and we would play for months, if not uh, years, right? And nowadays, like, game comes out, the game got no real substance, and we play for a month, and it's just like, yeah, we're all, eh, you know, we're gonna wait for season one, and when season one comes out, it's like, you wait for season one reloaded, because season one is not gonna give you the content, you feel upset, and you gotta wait for season one reloaded, and when season one reload comes out, you just don't even care about the game no more at that time, because you have been, like, bombarded with all the $20 bundles in the game, in the, in the microtransaction store, where what what is happening with call of duty dog do you think the next call of duty will be two-year game no nope, no call of duty game would be two-year uh, or or I, okay yeah yeah microsoft bought it right yeah i forgot about microsoft so it can be it depends i think everything can be stuff can be changed but i don't think they will for the foreseeable future because i mean they paid 70 billion dog they paid 70 billion they need to make their money back and uh, I, I, I think for the foreseeable future, Call of Duty is going to be a every year thing. We know for the fact that till 2027, it will be a yearly thing. After that, we're not sure. Because we know that 2025, the, 2024, this year, Treyarch game, right? Next year, it's going to be a Black Ops 2 remaster. Not sure who's making it. You would assume Treyarch, but it's not been rumored. Not, not like According to rumors, and we, we know that they have not confirmed it yet. Uh, so we do not know. 2026, that's like... Infinity Tard. Infinity War is making the Bruh. game, sadly. And, and then, 2027, it's Sledgehammer My Balls! Bruh. So Sledgehammer Games is gonna be working on 2027 games. So we know, till 2027, it's gonna be every year. After that, they might, but that's a big might. I don't think they will take a break. Uh, I think now, they will put in more money in making, like, Call of Duty better. But recently, Phil Spencer fired 1900 devs. So I don't know like if that's true or not. Uh, by Call of Duty, uh, till they fix the skill-based matchmaking system, all players just need to do a McDonald's boycott for a week. Okay, okay, okay. The things will change. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's it. <laughs> How boycotting McDonald's will fix Call of Duty? I don't know, but okay, fair, fair, fair. I, I see you, I see you. Battlefield 2042 is better than the last two Call of Duty games. Dang and make their main game X Defiant. Having something that keeps their interest peaking on those off weeks when there's not just like a new map or a new faction or something like that, even if it's just an additional peak every two weeks or so, that's huge in keeping players on board and coming back for more. Yeah. Giving them a genuine sense of, hey, I can complete this for a meaningful reason. I want to come back. Call of Duty and other games in the past have oftentimes tried to do this, but without anything that's actually meaningful or has something that's worthwhile to come back for. But Sadly. I feel like if you can offer something that is tangible and is actually feeling like, oh, that's, that's a worthwhile thing to put my time into, it's going to organically keep players playing a lot more. I Another agree. huge thing, probably one of the biggest things among all, is an anti-cheat. It is integral to the game doing well. Free-to-play and cheating goes hand in hand, unfortunately. There is no Sad. barrier of entry. With paid games that are like 60, 70, 80 dollars, of course, somebody that's cheating, if they get banned, they're probably not gonna come back two, three, four, five times over because that starts to add up and breaks the wallet a bit. But what's the stop? Apparently, like, I'm hearing, uh, and this is something that I'm hearing today, that Activision has removed anti-cheating for Call of Duty. Oh, shit. Oh, There's shit. news on it. I believe Eight Thoughts made a video on it. I've seen that, right? And I'm not sure whether that's true or not. I feel like that if that's true, they're probably doing it for like a day or two and they're probably gonna bring it back. But if they keep it like that, I mean, holy shit, that's, it doesn't sound good on paper, right? Because if they remove the anti-cheat, like what kind of message you're passing? Call of Duty 2030 will be all online with no story and more friendly UAV. Sadly, I cannot do that. Friendly UAV online. I, I can make the voice, but I cannot bring the meme on because I'm like on a different program streaming this today, right? Sadly. <laughs> But you know, man, you you know what I'm talking about. Friendly UAV online. It sure seems like it. Yeah, the news has it that they remove anti-cheat today, so... Stop somebody from getting banned and just making a new account on a free game and being back to annoying players within 5 to 10 minutes. An anti-cheat is 
absolutely necessary. Now listen, I'm absolutely no expert in this area, so I'm just gonna leave the topic at that. To those that are better qualified, feel free to discuss. But good Lord, I do hope there's an anti-cheat. Honestly, I'd be totally cool if there's an anti-cheat that does actual hardware. To be honest, like even if there is anti-cheat, like these suckers are so ahead of the game. Like cheaters are always two steps ahead. If you guys have been watching my cheating videos uh, on the channel, like busting cheaters and whatnot you have seen everything like holy crap i got a new cheater video coming out later on tonight you don't want to miss it guys yeah dma cheats bingo right there bingo and the second's got Kronos Max is out here. So, uh, uh, fairly though Kronos Max was banned on playstation but there's still a workaround that they found bruh it's not as good as the way it used to run back in back uh before the 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 the, the, the playstation patch but like <laughs> It is, it, you cannot win against hackers. Yeah, guys, I got a video coming up uh, later on tonight, so definitely subscribe. Do not miss that. Okay? Bans or makes it something. It's going to blow your mind. It's about like the new cheats that were detected. Sadly. Very hard for spoofing ways around this and stuff. Just make it as annoying for a cheater to deter them from doing that again. That's uh -huh. the way that I see it. But anyways, beyond that, that's like my bigger ticket stuff that I can think of off the top of my head. Other smaller things that I'd love to see would be a nice fleshed out after action report and combat record. I think uh -huh. that that is a very small and sort of underappreciated thing within FPS titles and games altogether. Also, Yay. in that same vein, a leaderboard. That's something that I really do hope is intuitive and something that's comprehensive as well that comes along with it. Beyond that, I love the ability to queue into games while still in that firing range. I was very impressed with the firing range that we ended up getting with X Defiant in oh, a wow. beta state. So for oh, the potential wow. to be even more added on top of that, I'm absolutely going to be in the firing range when I'm not playing and just either warming up or oh, dang, testing son. out builds, stuff like that. So similar to how COD does it with recent games, if a party member queues, I don't want to be kicked out of that and go to the matchmaker screen if it can be something <laughs> where i can still be in that firing yeah. range while i'm queuing for a match i think that'd be perfect another thing okay. that i would love okay. to see is a no ability and mercenary playlist something that i'm sure could be added in the future no ability uh -huh. kind of defeats the purpose of a lot of x defiant sure but at the same time i'm sure that there's a lot of people that love the arcade feel of x defiant but don't really care too much for the abilities the hero nature of it it kind of combines a little bit of the best of both of those sort of things but again it might not be for everybody so if there's the ability to play without abilities i think that could do well and a mercenary maybe, playlist maybe. i also think would be a lot of fun too just because there's one no skill based matchmaking awesome they're saying no skill based matchmaking to like what uh i believe to like rank 25 and i think that's like a be the, the the best uh, the better way to do it is the way they already are thinking about that's the best way to do it right so till rank 25 no skill based matchmaking or skill based matchmaking until rank 25 and after that you know you're not gonna have it so for new people you jump on the game whether you're a hardcore player or a, or a newbie you jump on till level 25 you got skill based matchmaking but after that it's gonna be random i think that's what call of D and this is something if you have been around the channel i have been screaming my tits off as well uh that do this way because you know instead of rank 25 do it till prestige one for call of duty you know till prestige one you got thick ass skill based matchmaking but after you have gone through 55 levels and after prestige one you got no skill based matchmaking and then you got real algorithm free lobbies like the video if you agree like the stream if you agree when when garbage balls twos when <laughs> lies imagine people staying under 25 uh yo god what's good man how you doing man uh, nah, uh, okay, I see, uh, uh, yeah, if people find a way to do it, then that would be really, really bad. But guys, click on this video on the screen. Recently, a lot of these sickers were caught cheating, though! Yay, you wanna hear about the DMH here? You wanna hear about something else? That's the, the new thing that I was talking about, right? Check it out, and I'll see you there.